Howdy, this is Tyler Blake from ExoWips again on a typically rainy Western Washington kind of summer day. Uh, this is a very unique whip that I wanted to show you all before I box it up to send off to its new owner. Um, I, I get requests for custom work and sometimes the customer will just describe it to me what they want and sometimes it, a lot of time in those instances I'll draw a picture of what my understanding is and then we'll decide if we're on the same page or not. In this case, the customer sent me a drawing and I'll, as soon as I get permission from him to post it, I'll, I'll put it up on my website. He, X inches, this to be X inches, this to, you know, he had it like all planned out. So that is good communication for me if anybody out there is thinking of a custom whip. I, I, I do enjoy these projects because it's, you know, I, I appreciate all the orders I get, but it's just kind of fun to do something different, you know, a one-off once in a while. And uh, this one, so Alvin, this one has a really heavy handle. If, if For any of you who have handled my whips before, I use carbon fiber, or carbon graphite rather, for the, um, for the handle stock, and so usually my handles are really lightweight. And uh, this one, this, this is actually two separate collars right here. This one is smaller in diameter, so it goes from here to here, and then it's plated over on the overlay to here, and then this collar fits over that from here to here where it's covered up by knots. So there's a lot of extra brass here, and then this is a this is what they called a hame tip back in the old days, and this would fit on the end of a, a horse harness, like if, if somebody was hauling their wagon into town. And I, I've used these in the past for walking stick tops, and that, that's pretty cool, but I've never... I've, I've thought about doing one on a whip before, and then uh, Alvin contacted me, and this is uh, what we came up with. So this is brass, these are brass. And having this on the end, um, I wouldn't necessarily hold it by that. I would hold this more like a cow or a stock whip, where you actually grip the handle. And you have all this extra weight on this end, and this kind of acts as a counterbalance for that. So I'm going to do... A couple of cracks. And right now I have a weighted fall with... Actually, I'll scoot back in. And Alvin, I'll, I'll send this to you and you can try it out and let me know how you like it. But this is a weighted fall with a hybrid cracker. This is, if you can see the greenish color, that's Dyneema. And then it's also a black artificial sinew. So this is a tapered cracker. And uh, the... I, I like it quite a bit, but this is the first one I've done, so I'll have to play with that a little bit more. By the way, this is a seven footer. So, uh, like I said, if you have uh, maybe an idea that you'd like to see brought to life, please uh, send me an email and you can either use a drawing of yours if you have one, or I can come up with a design for you. And I would love to bring your design into reality. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.